Welcome Transformers fans, my name is Composite Energy, and today I'll be bringing you my review of the Transformers uh, Robots in Disguise Combiner Force Soundwave, yes Soundwave And here he is in his armored truck mode And that's pretty much the closest thing I could think of with what this is supposed to be I think when I looked it up it just said it was a futuristic armored truck mode and that's it And as you can tell the uh, biggest error the, the biggest problem I have with this vehicle mode is that you can see both of his robot mode hands. That's it. They just sit there. Didn't even try to hide it. But other than that, other than that, this is a very nice vehicle mode. Really nice. I love the, the sort of translucent um, the plastic on the wheels. And speaking of wheels, it does roll very nicely. And has nice, lots of uh, detail. This is actually a very, very well done uh, vehicle mode. Uh, I think with the uh, robots in disguise figures, this is this might be my favorite of the vehicle modes. It's nice and solid and rolls really nicely. And I think this is supposed to be a reimagining of his um of Soundwave's vehicle mode from the video game uh, Fall of Cybertron: War for Cybertron. I think that's what this is supposed to be a reimagining of that because. In the show, in um, uh, Robots in Disguise, when Soundwave appeared, it was the same Soundwave from the Prime Universe, who was supposed to be thin, slender, and transformed into a Predator drone. So, so now apparently his new mode is this thing, a big, a big buff uh, armor truck, which is cool because and then uh, he, 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 um, he not only does the vehicle mode resemble his video game appearance, but his robot mode also, they, they bulk them up and it does resemble more of his... Uh, video game appearance and even a little bit of his G1 appearance so yeah uh, there's one more I guess one more thing to mention which is pretty neat like I said I really like this vehicle mode not to mention that Soundwave is one of my uh, favorite Decepticons and I really like this Soundwave it's a very nice vehicle mode so I was gonna say there was something there was something missing from this and that's his uh, iconic shoulder cannon his, cho his shoulder uh, Gatling cannon which is the one accessory that this figure comes with now to plug it into vehicle mode uh, the, I guess the most obvious thing would be just to plug it there, but that looks kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie, this big, just that, just it doesn't look right, it looks off. So what I do is that I plug them on these holes here, like so. Just plug it in there, and boom. It feels more, dare I say, natural, even though this is, this is, uh, this is a, it's supposed to be a vehicle, but still. It just sort of, um, it makes more sense, if, that, if it makes sense, it looks cleaner. It doesn't look really awkward, not to mention they painted this gray so that it sort of uh, goes with that, it blends into it. And that looks just really nice, that's like the finishing touch there, his uh, iconic Gatling shoulder plasma caster thing. Whatever this is called, I don't remember what this is called. Well, there you go. And that is now it for the vehicle, well no, one more thing. There is another way to store this, like if for some reason... You're you're some kind of uh, I'm just gonna say if you're some kind of weirdo that doesn't like having this uh, cannon out here, if you want to store it away, well, let's say if you want to have them and be like an, in a more um, friendlier mode, if you even call this friendly, you can store this on the other side. I don't believe the instructions mention this, but if you like open this up a bit, you can store this here and then wedge wedge it there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. There. Yeah, you can wedge it using these pieces into the base of the of the gun. And there. And it stores whoop. Well I guess if you move it a bit, like I said, it's not supposed to do that. But you can store it in like that. And it's pretty nice. It's really nice uh, optional storing. Okay now that really is the last thing. Let me take it out. That really is the last thing with the vehicle mode. I've talked too much on it. Oh, and like I and um, articulation can do that. You got a hinge there. And now that's it. I, I've been gushing too much about the vehicle mode. I said this is one of my favorite vehicle modes in the um, RID line. So let's get on to a transformation. First, separate the obvious arms. Separate this there. And just sort of pop this out. Separate there. There and there. And pop it out. Let me lift up. He's, he's, he's gonna get tall. Uh, I guess we'll fit, we'll do the arms now. Just take this piece, fold it, fold it over, 
fold this down like so fold it over fold it down and we almost get something resembling a chest which is almost done so I guess let's go to the feet so then for here you flip these out these will be his feet pull down fold fold down separate fold this piece in which is really nice he hides his own wheel which is really nice rotate rotate then you take this waist piece and fold it into there then for the chest you fold it while at the same time this is the only part that's kind of tricky you have to fold it down while at the same time is that how it goes yeah you have to fold this down And then at the same time, is that how that goes? Because you're supposed to flip out the head. Oh wait, you gotta fold this up, that's right. You gotta take this piece, fold it up, fold it out, up. Then fold out the head and then bring it down. And then this should, this should click somewhere. Does this click? I don't remember now. Uh, like it should Yeah, there is like a soft a, a soft click there <sighs> Hold on Well, we'll get to that later then you fold this all the way over That's right fold this all the way over and then this should would go in here and then this piece you flip you fl fold out Fold that out and go all the way around so that that catches there, and then we have his chest. So we have chest, legs, arms, and the head. This doesn't really connect too well. Like, it'll, it has a tendency of flopping forward, which I don't like. That is one negative. Well, I think there should be a way around that. Yeah, if you fold it down like that, it... Nope, it just has that problem. Alright, to solve this, I'm just going to show this off first, the accessory, because it holds it in place. Put his shoulder cannon on him. And the shoulder cannon holds the chest in place. So, unfortunately, uh, try not to lose his uh, his weapon, because in V-Robot mode, it'll keep his chest in place. And I might as well mention, you can, if you want to, have him hold it. Like a regular uh, pistol. Like a, like a hand cannon. However floppiness and this is right now i'm here right now this is the biggest biggest problem with the robot mode is this floppiness and the fact that you need his weapon like i said you can hold in his hand cute is that you need this just to hold down the chest so that it doesn't flop around all right now i got over the accessory early but there we go and here he is in his robot mode which is really nice really nice like i said it's supposed to resemble a more uh a bulkier version of his video game, of his uh, video game model. And check out that head sculpt and check out that light piping. And you can't really tell because they made the entire face light piped. But there is, there are grooves to give him a mouth plate. I don't know if you can see it. A mouth plate and an actual visor. Like the detail is there but because the entire thing is clear you can barely see it. But it is there. There, is, there are visible eyes and if you look on the box the actual picture does show him having a visor and then the actual um, face plate. But here they just have a more of his, uh, of a, they have a more prime look where his entire face is, is just the, the visor. So yeah, and might as well get on to articulation. Ball joints here, really nice range of movements. Uh, he's got an elbow that is also on a ball joint, so move around, no wrist. Uh, legs, very nice kick. Swivel there, uh, ball joint at the hips. Has a waist, well, up here has a waist. And the knee and a little bit of up and down on the feet. So yeah, he's got a nice range of articulation. So yeah, Soundwave here has a has nice uh, range of articulation. I will say, um, you do have to get used to the, the arms because they have a tendency of popping off when you move them. Because what's holding them together is this little notch. And that's it. And overall, a really nice figure. I actually really, really like this version of Soundwave, both in design and in uh, and in um, execution. Well, wait, not in execution, because like I said it does have it does have its flaws. Like um, 
what's funny about this figure that I found is that every part, every part of the figure has one thing I don't like about it. I don't think I've ever had that with another figure, that I have exactly one thing for each part. In his vehicle mode, I don't like that you can uh, see the hands. Everything else is hidden except the hands. Um, while transforming, I don't like how the head is just, because of the transformation, this head is just floppy. Is really floppy. Oh, and the head is on a ball joint, but the head is just floppy like this. This should have been, the, the, the transformation of the chest and the head should have been done a little better. And the, um, the robot mode, if you do not have this, the chest will flop forward. And I wish that the arms had a better, had a stronger connection, had an actual connection instead of just a notch holding it in place. So yeah, has its flaws, but all those, but, the, but all those things aside, it's a really nice figure. It's a really solid figure. Cool design, a nice reimagining of the video game version of Soundwave, and I and I honestly I think I prefer this upgraded version over his original Prime version. The sleek and slender Silent Soundwave <laughs> was was cool, was really awesome. But in terms of design, I prefer this one, who has a little bit more uh, bulk to him. I like him. It's kind of like how they how how it's kind of like when they changed the Shockwave from G1 to his Prime uh, Beast Hunter version, which had the big and bulky, kind of like uh, Dark of the Moon. But uh, I'm, I'm rambling on. So yeah, Soundwave here, really solid, really nice figure. Uh, let's see, uh, as of right now, he doesn't have any repaints that I'm aware of or any retools. Uh, he's, a, he's an original figure for the line, so I don't think he's a retool of anything, as far as I know. And that's about it. That's really it, nice solid figure. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I really have nothing else. I wish I had more stuff to say, but it, it's Soundwave. It's it's Soundwave, and this version of Soundwave looks really, really cool. I haven't seen the, um, uh, I think, what is it, the third season on of uh, Robots in Disguise, so I don't know if this version of Soundwave appears. I really hope so, because this guy looks really cool. So, yeah, this has been my review of the Transformers uh, Robots in Disguise com uh, Biner Force uh, Deluxe Class Soundwave. This is Composite Energo, signing off. Peace out.